Hi, Sneaky Lips back here, and tonight we've got Puppy on a Stick. Right, I know I said I wasn't going to do any more puppies, but I've been asked to do this one because people want to know how to put it on a USB flash drive. So, what we're going to do first is go to G Parted. Up she loads. Remember, we're doing it from a live CD here, so give it a bit of time. I've not actually edited it too much. And there's our little puppy drive, little 4 gig one. But that's not what we want. So, if we click here, we go to SDA or Dev SDA, and there's my one gig USB flash drive. So I'm going to click New on that one. Now normally we do an EXT extension, but if you're going to use some older systems, blah 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 blah, for various reasons, give it a go with FAT32. Oh no, oh no, but hey, has to be done. So I click Add, and then we're going to apply that. And yes, we want to do that. So click apply again, and off she goes. Creating the empty partition, and bish bosh bish should be done in a few seconds normally. It doesn't take too long. It's quite an old USB flash drive, so don't expect it to be super fast. There we go, all done. We'll close that. It will scan the drive one more time for us. Make sure it's all hunky dory. Nearly, and two, three, four. There she is. Right, we're going to right click that again because we want to make it a bootable drive. So we go down to manage flags, click there, and in a few seconds we get this come up. Now, if we click on the boot, click there, it will do a little bit of work for us, and done. We're a bootable drive now. So G Parted will scan it one more time for us just to make sure it's all okay. Give it a few seconds, there it is. We've got a little bootable drive. So we're going to come out of Gparted. And then we're going to go up to install instead of using the menu. We click on there once. And we want to run the Universal Installer. So click Universal Installer. First highlighted one is Flash Drive, so that's the one for us. Click OK. There's our little flash drive, 984 meg. So we can click OK again. Give it a few seconds. And here we are. Now you get some various things to choose from here, but we're just going to do the ordinary one, install puppy to SDA1, which is right at the top. So we click on there. A few seconds go past. Right, just double checking again. We're going to click OK. Now it needs some files from the CD, our live CD. If you look down here, there it is, in the drive. So we're going to click on CD. Is it in the drive? Of course it is, but click OK. And off we go. Now this doesn't take very long at all. Right, we're going to leave it as default. So the MBR is fine, because it's a blank disk basically, or a blank drive. Click OK. Just keep going on this, don't worry about the others for now. So we're going to click OK. Ah, and here we go. Ah, we're going to press Enter to continue. So we've done that. Now do we really want to do this? Yes, we've got a clean drive so we can just press Enter. If you want to wipe the files, then you do it alphanumeric. So we've pressed Enter. It's making it bootable. There we go. Now the question here is how much RAM has your PC got? Most got more than 256. So click on alphanumeric and then enter. It's copying the files over for us. Nice and quick. I think it just took about two minutes so far. So it's not long at all, is it really? And basically you just have to wait. And wait until it's done what it's got to do. Yeah, we're finished. Press enter. And basically, that's it. There's not much more to it. When you shut down from the drive, the USB drive, that is, it will ask you where you want to save stuff and whatever. If you read it, it's fine. If you have problems with it, I'll do another video. So, no problemo. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to go down to Gparted one more time. Click on the old menu. Up to System. Gparted. 
Scan that drive. And scanning and scanning. Spin round CD, spin, spin, spin. Right, there's our puppy one on the hard drive. If we click to SDA, there it is. You've got 96 meg on there, which is the puppy install. And that's the end of that, really. There's nothing more to it. So, sneaky likes out. Thanks for watching.